Feast or famine? Understanding this English phrase. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, feast or famine. This phrase is not only interesting but also very useful in daily English conversations. Let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it effectively. The phrase, feast or famine, is used to describe a situation where there's either an abundance, feast, of something or nothing at all, famine. It originally comes from agricultural societies, where a good harvest meant a feast, and a bad harvest led to a famine. Today, it's used in various contexts, from business to personal life, to describe extreme fluctuations. Let's look at some examples to understand how this phrase is used. 1. Work situations. As a freelance writer, I often experience feast or famine. Some months I have more work than I can handle, and other times, hardly any. 2. Business cycles. The stock market can often be a case of feast or famine, with periods of high returns followed by times of significant losses. 3. Personal experiences. When it comes to my social life, it's either all or nothing, a classic case of feast or famine. Now that you understand what it means and have seen some examples, try to use feast or famine in your conversations. It's a great way to describe situations with dramatic changes or inconsistencies. Remember, the best way to learn a phrase is to use it. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, feast or famine. Remember, English is full of interesting phrases like this, and learning them can make your language skills richer and more vibrant. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.